hello friends in autocad how we can set the uh, viewport i will show you the simple step so uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel so this is the video for you know how to set the viewport okay so i'll show you how to do that one so we'll go to the model this is the layout okay so i need two layout one three layout okay so one is overall plan and two is the two uh, part i need okay so i'm dividing like this two parts okay so one part is this one and one part is this one so i'll go here first okay <clears throat> then i will type mv for viewport okay view and then click one point and click another point okay so the plan it will come here so we need to set this one uh, one scale so you can uh, choose the scale from here uh, for example if i choose one is 200 so it will uh, like a little bit big so we need to change that scale to one is to 150 something like that so i will go to the custom and i will add one more one is to 150 okay then here is paper space is one and uh, drawing unit is i am giving 150 and click okay okay then we will come here and choose that 150 so it will 50 fit on the uh, scale so our overall plan is ready so we need to create another layout so we'll just deleting this one okay and uh, what we can do we can just uh, go here and move our copy okay then move to end and create a copy okay so one copy is created and i'm just uh, putting this one two okay so i need one uh, uh, part plan like uh, half part so what what scale we can give it will give you give, give it like one is 200 okay so it will come like this so the one part is fitted over here and you can stretch from this viewport uh, viewport from here to that part okay so other details you can fix it on this the sheet so this this part is completed okay then i am stretching this one like this and you can if you can uh, you can lock, lock also this viewport it will not move after that okay so one part is ready okay so i think this part also moved so this is a this is not a block or xrf so um that is what it's, it's coming and i need to another one block also so you same process you can go uh, do it move to end okay then create a copy so we will just type uh, call it as uh, this one is as a three just type rename as three okay and then uh, what you need to do just um, uh, drag from uh, drag like this okay. no need to do anything any scale over here so already we set that uh, viewport so easily we can just uh, stretch it up to down and put like this okay and stretch like this okay stretch command is use, uh, very useful for the, these things okay so just to move this one up to wherever you need so that two part is completed so like that we can um, set up the um, viewports so if you like my video please subscribe it it's related to autocad and rivet thanks thanks for watching thank you